Now, let's answer question from random post at ito ay post ni Sir Aris Suryente. At isolve natin ito isa-isa. Credit natin yung may-ari mismo ng libro, MSA. Paalala lang, hindi ko nakita yung answer key nito. So, sagutan natin ito with detailed solutions. Pero kung sakaling iba yung answer key nito, kung meron kayong answer key, iba yung answer nila, comment na lang sa video ito at i-discuss natin kung ano ba talaga ang tamang sagot. Basahin muna natin lahat sila para sagutan nyo muna bago nyo makita yung mga solutions natin dito. 116. What percent of 120 is 125 percent of 60? Is it 55 percent, 62.5 percent, 72.5 percent, 75 percent, or 100 percent? Next, 117. The ratio of male employees to the female employees of a manufacturing company is 16 is to 25. The total number of employees is 246. If the company hired four more male workers, then what would be the new ratio of male to female employees of the company? Is it 4 is to 5, 3 is to 5, 2 is to 3, 7 is to 10, or 10 is to 7? Next, 118. Rhea auditioned for a television show contest. They were asked to fall in a line. She figured out that she is the 28th person from the first person and 35th person counting from the last. The person in charge in the audition counted the number of auditionees. How many auditioned in that day? 62, 63, 64, 65, or 67? 119. Adding twice the number to the difference of thrice the number and 4 is just like subtracting 10 from 3 times the product of half of the number and 4. Find the number. Is it 12, 6, 8, 4, 2? Isa, isahin natin ito lahat. Basahin natin ulit. What percent of 120 is 125% of 60. Let n be that number. Tapos, i-multiply natin one, ng 100% later para maging percentage siya. So, ito, that is n of multiplication yan siya. Tapos, kopyahin si 120. Ang is equals yan. 125% Ang of multiplication ulit, tapos si 60. Ngayon, para ma-isolate si n dito, since si 120 ay pang multiply sa n, pang divide siya dito sa dalawa. So, ganyan na siya. Wala na si 120 dyan, isolate na si n. Ngayon, ito, i-convert muna natin ito, and this is 1.25. 1.25 times 60. So, 60. Itabi lang muna natin si 0 kasi 0 lang naman yan. Ito lang ang i-multiply natin yung 6 sa 1.25. This is 30, 12, and that is 15. Carry 1 and 7. Tapos, tsaka mo i-drop si 0. Ngayon yung decimal, 1, 2. Ang decimal, 1, 2. So, ang sagot ay... 75. 75 over 120. Isa-isahin natin pag-divide yan. Si 75 divided by 120. So, magdagdag ka ng isang zero. Itong decimal mo, itaas mo dyan. 750 divided by 120. That is, mga 6 ang 120 sa loob ng 750. Merong 6. This is 0, 12, carry 1, 7. 750 minus 720, that is 30. Magdagdag ka pa ng isa pang zero. Ilang 120 ang 300? Dalawa. So, 2 times 120, that is 240. Tapos, 300 minus 240, that is 6. Magdagdag, 60 bali. 
magdagdag ka pa ng isa pang zero. Ilang? 120 sa 600? 5. So, 5 times 120, that is 600. Zero na. So, ito na yung sagot. This is 0.625. 0.625. Ang tanong, percent ang tanong. So, i-multiply mo yan ng 100% and that is 62.5% or mag-move ka lang ng dalawang decimal to the right tapos lagyan mo ng percent sign. So, ang sagot, 62.5%. Ito na yung sagot. The ratio of male employees to female employees of a man manufacturing company is 16 is to 25. Male is to female. 16 is to 25. The total number of employees is 246. Dito muna tayo mag-focus sa 246 bago tayo dito sa question. Let N be that number na i-multiply natin dito sa dalawang ratio na to na para mag-total siya ng 246. So, nag-add tayo. Since like terms lang naman sila, so, i-add mo yan, 16N plus 25N, that is 41N equals 246. Para ma-isolate si N dyan, para malaman natin ang value ni N, since itong si 41 pang multiply kay N, pang divide na yan dito sa kabila, or nag-divide tayo ng 41 to both sides para makancel out si 41 dito. Kaya ganyan yan, nag-divide na siya sa kabila. 246 divided by 41. Ilang 41 si 246? 6. Bali, exact siya na 6. 4, 246 divided by 41, that is 6. So ang value ni N ay 6. Ngayon, i-substitute natin yung mga N. Kung itong 16N, so 16, yung N natin ay 6. So 16 times 6, and that is 96. Next, 25, 25N. 25 times 6, kasi ang value ng N ay 6. 25 times 6, and that is 150. I-double check natin kung 246 ba ang sagot. 96 plus 150, that is 246. So, tama ito. Isulat ulit natin, ito si male versus female. Originally, 16 uh, is to 25, ito yung ratio. And, na-multiply natin sa both numbers para makuha natin yung kabuuan bali, yung total, kasi ang total niya ay 246. So, nag-multiply ka ng 6 to both. So, kung magtatanong na naman kayo kung saan galing ang 6, nandito na. Sinove na natin yan. Next, ito, 16 times 6, and that is 96. This one, 25 times 6, and that is 150. Ngayon, ang tanong, if the company hired 4 more males plus 4, then, what would be the new ratio of male to female employees? This one is 100. So, maging 100 na si male. 100 versus 150. 100 is to 150. Ratio ang hinahanap. Hanapan natin ang greatest common factor para malist natin yan. At ang greatest common factor nila ay... 50. So, 100 divided by 50, and that is 2. 150 divided by 50, and that is 3. So, ang sagot dito ay 2 is to 3. 2 is to 3. Next, Rhea auditioned for a television show contest. They were asked to fall in line. She figured out that she is the 28th person from the first person and 38th person counting from the last. So, paano ito sagutan? 28 plus 35, this is 3, carry 1, 6, minus 1, kasi nadoble na niyang kinount yung sarili niya dito, 
and the answer is 62. Isa-isahin natin para mas klaro lang. Ang first, ito yung first, uh, wait ha, erase natin. Ang first na tao, papunta sa kanya, ika 28th siya. Tapos, papunta din doon sa last, sa last bali, ito yung last, ika 35th siya. So, ito yung last. Ito yung first. Ika 28th siya, ika 35th siya. So, siya pa rin. Kinakount niya yung sarili niya. Kaya, i-minus mo yung isa. So, pwede mong sabihin 27 plus 35 or 28 plus 34. Basta mag-minus ka ng isa. Twice mo kinakount mo sarili mo eh. So, this one, this is 12 carry 1, 62. This one is 12 carry 1, 62. So, ang sagot dito ay 62. Item 119. Adding twice the number to the difference of thrice, the number and 4 is just like subtracting 10 from 3 times the product of half of the number and 4. Find the number. Ngayon, gawin natin itong equation. Isa-isahin natin. Adding. So, mag-add tayo. Twice the number. Let n be that number. 2 n. Mag-add tayo. So, i-add natin yan. 2. The difference meaning nag-minus. So, to the difference of tries the number 3 n. And, mag-minus tayo kasi difference man. And 4. Is just like that is equals to subtracting 10 from. So, subtracting 10 from, mamaya na yan. Kasi yung 10, yan yung isusubtract sa 3 times the product. So, 3 times the product. Kasi mayroon ka pa ang 3 times na mayroong nagmumultiply pa. The product of. So, bali may dalawa pang i-multiply natin dito. The product of half of the number. So, n over 2 and 4 ang and natin dito ito yung multiplication kasi nga product so 4 ito yung 3 times the product of 4 tapos wag nating kalimutan ang subtracted from minus 10 ulitin natin para mas malinaw sa inyo ulitin natin adding Twice the number, let n be that number. Adding, ito na yung add. Twice the number, ito na yun. To the difference of, thr of thrice the number and 4. Itong and dito, minus yan. Twice the number, 2 the difference. So, ito na yun, nag-add na tayo. To the difference of 3, thrice the number, 3n and Four. So, 3n minus 4. Kinuclose parenthesis natin yan siya kasi tries the number and 4. Next, is just like equals yan siya. Subtracting 10 from. Subtracting 10 from. Okay? Mula sa. So, unahin muna natin mamaya na yung subtracting 10. Mula sa. 3 times, ito na yung 3 times, the product of half of the number and 4. Ito yung the product of half of a number and 4. Tapos, minus 10. Ngayon, isolve na natin ito. Uh, proceed na tayo, mag-solve na tayo ngayon. Dito, mga like terms naman yan, so pwede natin i-add yan. 5n. Minus 4 equals ito, i-multiply na natin siya dito sa katabi niya. Ngayon, pariho lang silang multiplication. Lahat ng mga whole numbers, mayroon yung automatic na denominator na 1. So, kasi mayroon tayong fraction. Kaya, pariho lang naman silang multiplication. So, i-multiply mo na yan lahat. 
3 times n times 4, and that is 12n over 2 minus 10. Ngayon, isolve muna natin itong si 12n over 2. 12n over 2, pariho lang yan sa 6n. Ngayon, dito na lang natin ilagay si 6n. That is 6n. Ipagsama natin ang mga like terms, so mag-transpose tayo. Dito na lang si negative 4 or minus 4, tapos itong minus 10, since pang minus siya dyan, pang-add siya kung i-transpose mo. Bali yung opposite. Tapos 6n, ito namang si 5n dito, kung i-transpose mo maging minus 5n, kasi positive si 5n dyan. Negative 4 plus 10, that is... 6. 6n minus 5n, that is n. So, ang value ni number, or find the number, so ang sagot dito ay 6. Now, let's double check kung equal ba sila kung ang value ni n ay 6. So, lahat ng n dito ay lagyan natin ng 6. So, multiply ng 6. Ito rin ay 6. Tapos, asan pa ba ang n? Ito rin ay 6. The rest, i-delete muna natin yan. The rest, i-delete muna natin. This one is 12. Plus, this is 18. Minus 4 equals, this one is 3. So, 3 times 3 times 4 minus 10. 3 times 3 equals 9 times 4, that is 36. So, 36 minus 10 equals 26. So, i-add muna natin ito. Yung isa, bali, isolve na natin itong isa. This one is 30. So, 30 minus 4, and that is 26. So, therefore, pariho lang sila, equal talaga siya. So, therefore, ang sagot na 6 ay tama.